Hi, this is Michael Gillis with the Gillis team at Remax Legacy. Uh, today, I'm going to answer a question that I get all the time, especially this time of year. Uh, what do I do if a buyer is interested in my house but still has a house to sell? There are a lot of cases where I'll get a phone call from an agent and the agent will say, hey, great news. I took these, uh, these clients by your, uh, uh, by your listing the other day and they love the house. They love it. They love to put a contract in it. So, of course, my response is, great. When are you going to send it to me? Um, and then the other shoe drops and the, and, and the agent will tell me, well, they have a house that they've got to sell first before they can buy your client's house. Would the seller consider accepting a contract that's contingent on the sale of the buyer's house? And that's where that question comes in and where that conversation has to start with, with the seller. And so the, uh, the thing that we have to ask first are, what are the risks of accepting that contingent contract? And the, uh, the main one is, especially if you're in a market and you've got a house that should sell um, at or below the average number of days on market, um, do you want to take your house off the market and lose that opportunity for every other buyer that might come through over the next two weeks or 30 days or whatever that timeline is expected to look like? And in a lot of cases, the answer is no. Uh, the risk is way too high to take your house off the market and, uh, and lose out on that opportunity for future buyers or maybe even multiple buyers that are interested in the house. So the next question is, well, is there ever a time where it makes sense to accept a, uh, a contract contingent on the buyer selling their home. Um, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't it make sense just to tell the buyer, hey, we'd love to sell you the house, but can you come back to us when you have your house under contract? And uh, there are a few cases where it makes sense. So if you've got a very unique property, you know, if you've got a, uh, if you've got a farm, you know, where you have to have the right type of person that's willing to, uh, uh, to, to jump into everything that it takes to run that farm and, uh, and is willing to pay the price that, that you're looking for, well, that may be a unique enough situation where if that buyer has a house that we research and we believe will sell, that it may make sense to pull that farm off the market and, um, and look at accepting that contingent, that contingent contract. Um, the, uh, the other thing to keep in mind is, especially if you're expecting a longer than average time on market, you do have more leverage with that buyer. And so uh, you can negotiate from a position of strength saying, well, Mr. Buyer, you know, I, I will accept a contract contingent on the sale of your home, but only at these terms. And if they're willing to give you just outstanding terms that you're willing to, uh, to take a little risk on, then it could make sense to accept that contingent contract. And so the other side of this is thinking about it from the buyer's perspective. Uh, a lot of buyers say, well, I have to sell my house in order to, to move up and, and buy something else. So what do I do? And the answer to that in a lot of cases is, well, what you need to do is get your house on the market, have a pretty good idea of what homes are out there that you're interested in buying. And as soon as your house goes under contract, at that point, make an offer on one of those sellers' homes. And the difference there is you're no longer looking at a full home sale contingency, but you're making that contract contingent on your home going to closing. And so there's a lot of moving parts here. Uh, it's a question that we answer probably weekly here in the office. So if you're in either one of these situations, give us a call. We'd be happy to go through it in greater detail and make sure that you're making a good decision and that you've got those timelines uh, uh, set up correctly uh, for success. And, uh, and, uh, and we'd be happy to, to go through it with you. So uh, if you're interested in buying or selling, of course, click one of our links below. Uh, we'd love to talk to you soon.